True or false? If you buy Microsoft 365, you get rights with it to deploy an unlimited number of Exchange Server, SharePoint Server, or Skype for Business Server instances. Is it true or is it false? Well, it's complicated because only those users who are assigned Microsoft 365 licenses are permitted to use those services that you deploy for free. So if you only license half of your workforce, imagine the micromanagement nightmare that you will have to actually split the service for which you're still paying software assurance or full license with software assurance and the service that you get for free. The only real indulgence when you stop paying for your on-premises productivity service completely is when you license every single user with Microsoft 365. At least every single user that requires functionality of those services. On the other hand, when you've done that, don't forget that if you sign an enterprise agreement with everyone licensed with a flavor of Microsoft 365, stop paying software assurance, cancel software assurance on the service in this list. And for more tips like this, subscribe to this channel and save on Microsoft licensing.